another weekly vlog. I'm starting this vlog at 9.30. I woke up at 7.30 and it is another week. I don't know, it's not getting quite old. I just feel so weird. I just feel like the future is so unknown and it's starting to really get to me a little bit. And with that being said, I still have a lot of work stuff to do this week. So I wanted to continue vlogging. I'm about to write out my to-do list, which is why I wanted to start this clip. If you guys are new here, my name is Michelle Reed. Originally live in New York City, but I'm home in Texas until everything dies down upon further notice. Had a really nice relaxing weekend. I did a workout this morning and it was such a good workout. It was a 30 minute hit workout, but it was very high intensity, but doable if that makes sense. And it was really good. So I'll have it linked down below. I just didn't feel like running today. Sometimes I wake up and I'm just not feeling like going outside and running so I did not do that today and we're gonna write out today's to-do list. My mom and I are gonna get stamps for my wedding invites because even though we're not really sure what our wedding looks like right now I have the invitation so I want to send them out at least as a courtesy to let people know they were invited before everything went down. I have some emails. I need to send photos for a brand, send a video for a brand, to plan a video, film video. I want to figure out some more guests for the podcast. I just had an episode go live today. If you guys don't know, I have a podcast. It's called Books. What? Call but what's next and it's all about kind of post-grad life figuring out your career personal life family all those things So if you want to listen, it'll be linked down below. I think that's it, but this is gonna take a while Just think about uh, What they want got a little work buddy who wants my salad <laughs> What color would you rather have on your toes? I like some blue. I also want the blue one. To match your dress? Yeah. Such a sweaty workout. I am so dead. I don't know if you can hear, but it is really raining really hard outside right now and it sounds just peaceful i love rainy days it is tuesday today i'm starting this day a little bit later because i just had a really slow start to the day whenever it's like a rainy day i like to really just like take my time in the morning and just to really enjoy it and so i had a very slow morning i edited a video which i'm really excited to post i did a workout before it started raining i have not been into running and i know i just talked about really running a lot but i just haven't been into it i've been really into strength training this week and so i always just listen to my body and I do what I want to do while pushing myself sometimes and so that's what I did this morning I just got ready I have no reason to get ready today but I just think it's fun to get ready put on makeup I'm wearing this bodysuit for my video that I'm doing that's like supporting my subscribers small businesses and so she has a little boutique so I'm just wearing this my skirt is from petite studio I think it's super cute and just fun for chilling out um I don't really know what I'm doing for the rest of the day I have a lot of work stuff to do but that's kind of it just like a lot of admin stuff I'm watching Brooke's vlogs and I love watching Brooke's vlogs. She's just such a great YouTuber and I can't pinpoint what it is about her videos that I just love, but she's great. We're also friends, but I just love her videos. I think they're so nice to watch, especially while I'm like getting ready and doing stuff. Are we gonna go eat a salad? Cause as you've seen, I have been doing a very healthy meal structure and I felt great going to bed and waking up this morning. Like I just felt very not bloated, so. So a little update, it is 4.45 and I've just been doing so much laptop work. I am in the process of signing with a management, which is very exciting. And yeah, it just comes with some new things, but I'm so excited for it. Uploaded a video for tomorrow, did a thumbnail, I signed up with an affiliate company. I'm just trying to be smarter about diversifying revenue. So I signed up with that just for linking things that I like because that's something that I've been always too lazy to do, but I finally did. I'm about to FaceTime my friend Isabel because I miss her a lot and I also talked to Eden a little bit. We're trying to figure out our life plans right now. And when I have an update, I will update you guys. One thing that I've realized with YouTube is I get myself in a lot of trouble when I talk about things before I am ready to talk about them and before I am fully concretely confident in the decision that I'm making. And so instead of opening my big fat mouth, because a lot of times when you talk about things before you're super solid in them, you get a lot of unsolicited advice. And I think that's when I get really 
hurt by things online and something that I figured out is when I get advice when I'm not seeking advice if that makes sense. I will do an update once I'm ready to do an update but right now I have nothing because I have no idea what I'm doing with my life over the next few months. Things are just like so crazy right now and it is so hard to plan for the future especially when you get married it's even harder and so drinking a little LaCroix this is the key lime flavor which is arguably not arguably the best flavor it is honestly the best flavor ever i think it tastes so good this is so fast except <laughs> this is kind of bad posted a video and I took a shower got ready but it made me want to talk about something that I'm using I feel like I don't talk about products that often and that's honestly because I don't use hair products very often I don't use a lot of different face products I keep things pretty minimal right now but I recently used a new kind of shampoo and conditioner routine so I wanted to show you guys I mentioned a while ago how my hair was shedding a lot and I realized that there is a lot that goes into your hair health I feel like this sounds like it's sponsored it's not sponsored at all but I actually ended up going to the doctor I specifically went to my gynecologist for this because I thought it was something that was hormonal that was happening and I personally really like my gynecologist here in Texas he is awesome and does a really good job I went to him right when I got home pretty much just because hair loss can actually be a sign of something underlying that's going on and so I just wanted to make sure it wasn't something super serious I just came out wanted to test out a lot of different levels like vitamin B B12 vitamin D iron levels and then do like a thyroid test he doesn't think think that it's anything too serious it might just be a cyclical thing really really like my gynecologist here in Texas I feel like I've always been rushed by a lot of my doctors but he just has always made me feel really comfortable so I went there and had so many different blood tests done for a lot of different vitamin deficiencies so things like vitamin b12 vitamin d just a lot of different things that could be going wrong and I figured out that I'm iron deficient and so I've been taking iron supplements since March but I've been dealing with this since February and it's why I haven't been using heat on my hair it's why I haven't been getting it dyed obviously because you can't even get your hair dyed right now it's why I've been drying my hair in braids like so and I definitely think my hair is not shedding as much as it used to be um, but it is still happening a little bit and so I recently switched my shampoo and I got a little set which I heard from Danny Austin who has been super open about experiencing hair loss my loss I'm pretty sure it might be due to stress in combination with the iron deficiency I switched from my vegetarian diet a while ago because of iron my body just does not like to absorb iron for some reason and so everyone's different I think that's something I've learned with health you can't like prescribe what works for someone for someone else but I've been using this little hair company it's from Navy hair care and they have a shampoo and conditioner it's the biotin and vitamin enriched shampoo and then I've also been using the charcoal mask I can't really comment on if this is making my hair grow I definitely think my hair is growing but I don't know if it's from this I don't know if it's from the iron supplements I've also been drinking collagen I have not been using heat on my hair there's just so many different things so I don't want to say it's from this but I do want to say this has made my hair feel so clean. I never feel like I have product buildup anymore, especially when I use the mask. My hair is so just soft, but also like I can't feel like shampoo debris. I don't know if you've ever washed your hair and you can still feel like shampoo in your hair. This doesn't do that. It doesn't build up. It's really great. And I don't personally have a code with them, but Danny has one. It's Danny 30 and you can get 30% off, which makes the whole set $70, I believe. So if you want to check it out, I'll have it linked down below. I don't know if anyone is looking for a new shampoo and conditioner. I just think that I never realized how much buildup I had until I used that and I was like wow my hair actually feels clean I'll probably do a video on my whole kind of hair journey and I really want to talk about a lot because it's not like fun to go through by any means I do want to say don't get sucked into just buying stuff like this if you feel like your hair is shedding a lot go to the doctor and I know right now going to the doctor is kind of sketchy but sometimes hair loss can be a sign of something deeper and so I always recommend going to a doctor if you experience this pretty much anything don't trust gimmicks don't buy all the oils the vitamins like ask your doctor and these are things that my doctor said to do just a little tip i'm going to continue working for the day i have just been doing a ton of computer work 
a lot of things that I've just put off doing and it's been really good. I am really, really happy. It's been a very happy week this week and that hasn't always been the case during this time and so i feel just very thankful and i hope you guys are also having a great week i'm about to do some little yoga stretching tonight my body feels really tight for some reason so i just put my little lights on i got a candle burning i'm just gonna do probably like a 15 minute stretch things that struck me and it struck me in my own business is the power of a constraint. This is a fantastic opportunity to help multiple, multiple people. And I know there are a lot of influencers watching this. You're doing this already, right? You're out there helping for free. Happy Thursday, guys. It is Thursday today and I have been honestly in a weird mood today. So starting the vlog a little bit later, I still worked out did some work this morning, did some editing, and then I actually did this like webinar class that I randomly was sent in my email and it was free. I shared it on my story. So if you guys should definitely follow me on Instagram, I share a lot of things that I'm just doing on there. But it was all about freelancing during the pandemic and how to price your services. And I came back to a package. I'm doing my video on small businesses and I got this really cute like crop tie-dye little sweatshirt. I don't own any like crop sweatshirts. I'm so excited to receive this. I'll have it linked down below. It's actually such nice quality. I feel like I've ordered this is my second tie dye set and I definitely feel like this one is more affordable It is also just like nicer quality I threw it on with these biker shorts. I got these from Aritzia I think they're just like black super casual little biker shorts. This is another little thing that I got for my video This is like a macrame hanging thing I wanted to replace something that I had up before with that in my room and then another exciting thing I got my oils in I have been out of oils for my diffuser and so I got some lemon lavender and then also spearmint so I'm excited to diffuse those throughout the day ordering all of these things from your guys' small businesses just shows me how like talented people are I just think it's so cool that we can like create our own companies and sell products and I don't I'm just like really thankful that we're allowed to do that and that's like something that we have the freedom to because I just think it's so cool I think that it's so much cooler to get like one thing from a boutique from someone who actually like made it themselves I just think it's so cool all of the time we spent together So guys, we're doing another If you didn't see our last weekend in my life We did a little truck bed movie night <laughs> Yeah! I really like the crew neck It looks really Isn't cute Isn't it nice? It looks like I'm OJ glad hair. I got it Sometimes we're really, I'm really hot I know it is hot. We're gonna More watch snacks. a movie. Very nice outside. It's actually a little toasty. It is Friday. We were out pretty late last night watching our movie, and so I kind of slept in. Got a little work today. I'm doing some podcast stuff today. I'm recording a solo podcast and then just some editing, finishing out something since it's Friday. I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing though because I got this recently and I think it's so cute. It was on clearance at Target for like $15. I'll have it linked if you want to check it out. But it's basically this jumpsuit that looks like pajamas. It's this like huge comfy oversized jumpsuit I got this in an extra small and it's still like super baggy but it's so comfy especially right now for just like working from home I think it's just so comfy to wear so I'm wearing this going to get to working soon <laughs> That are very concrete that I think are good to just know before moving and I know a lot of you have dreams to move to New York City so I hope this kind of inspired you I think that you can do anything you set your mind to mm -hmm. 